everyone this is suja thank you for joining me today this is bed number 11 so bitcoin ethereum and dogecoins so today let's go see what's going on oh nice bitcoins at 60k let's see if my trading oh jesus i somehow made 11 grand from my dogecoin trade i'm a genius <laughs> the other day i was about to cry because i lost so much money <laughs> And then this one I made. Come on, Ethereum, don't be like that, babe. All right, so let's see my account history. Again, I do these paper trades just to be, you know, kind of okay with it. So hold on, account history. So, huh, my my long position netted me seven grand for Bitcoin. Um, I have two open positions here. One's worth 11 grand and the other one's worth... 290 I actually let's just go to dogecoin let's see where I have it stopped at mm, yeah okay I'm just gonna go to dogecoin because I want to see the charts seven grand that's like Dude, that's like new boat money. I can literally buy a boat with that money. By the way, I've been getting into wanting to buy a boat. So, you know. Yeah, I got more I could make if I just stay in this area. My take profit is here at the $1 range, which I... Which... Oh my god, it didn't hit. It was so close. Oh my god. OMG. It didn't hit. Anyways. Whatever. All right, let's go back to Bitcoin. So let's just do my analysis and then we'll deal with everything else afterwards. All right, so by the looks of it, things are going good. Bitcoin's playing around with the 21 day moving average. Let's see here. Oh, red line is going above yellow line. The red is 10 day simple. 21-day EMA is the yellow, and then I think the blue is 55-day simple or 30-day simple. I'm not entirely sure. Let me just double-check myself here. Yeah, 30-day simple. So um, everything's good. Price break worked out. We still have to reach 61,145 uh, for everything to sort of work out. And then, um, like I said, this is a good time to get in. If there's one of these, there's going to be likely two or three more of these. So the pattern may continue. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. So I described last time how I saw one, two, and then there's going to be a shoulder here, a little slight pullback, probably below this area right here, roughly back to 59,000. And then we're probably going to go back all the way up. So, um, yeah, not much to worry about for Bitcoin. Uh, if you're a day trader, I think you should be fine as well. What does the four hour say? Four hour looks good-ish. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. A lot of crosses. So this cross is nice. Uh-huh. All right, so that looks good. All right, Ethereum. Let's go to Ethereum. Come on, Ether. Don't die on me now. All right, so Ethereum. Ethereum looks pretty cool. Remember the box I made? Look, it's in the box. So, hey, my boxes work. Would you look at that? Technicals work. <laughs> so, by the looks of it, it's testing this box. If it breaks this box roughly at 2,056-ish, then or 59 somewhere around that area then we'll probably have a little bounce back to the 1900s yeah or two yeah 19, 1900 or 2000 area and then go back up so it can be like that um price break is showing green signals mm. yeah i told you one two there's gonna be a third one so this is a good time to get into ethereum if you want to buy there's been this cross there's this been this confirmation and then this is going to be our third confirmation. By the way, by you, I mean me. I'm not a financial advisor, not advising anyone to trade or anything. This is my opinion, man. Uh, everybody has an opinion on the internet. They're worth pretty much garbage. So <laughs> don't actually buy things based on what I say. When I say you, I mean me. You know, it's like that funny uh, 
movie scene where you have the guy goes, you know, you are you and I am me. And yeah, it's a funny movie scene. Anyway, so for me, this would probably be a good time to enter. And then, yeah, things are looking up. I can't believe one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> we might have a seventh <laughs> shoulder here before a little bit of a pullback. And it, as long as the pullbacks are below like 1950 or above 1950, shall I say, yeah, we should be fine. There's not a big deal to worry about. And then Doge coins. Mm, Doge, Doge baby. What? <laughs> no, <laughs> not entirely sure where that came from. All right. So then Dogecoin looks beautiful. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Wait, no, come on. Don't do that to me indicators. All right, 30, yeah. All right, so this is my indicator here. Where the hell is my 21 day EMA? Here, I'm gonna cancel everything out. I just wanna see the 21 day EMA. Screw everything else. This is my 21 day EMA. The color sucks, so let's see. One, two, three. One, two, three, it's the fourth one, so. Jesus, it needs to be dark orange. I'm talking thick lines, boy. All right, so that's gonna be that. Yeah, it's above the 21 day moving average. Things are looking good. Uh, price break, what I tell ya, it's going up. So once you see this big bad boy, the next thing I wanna see is a confirmation, and then that'll be that. I'm actually gonna close this out. I, the 11 grand I won, I'm happy with. So I'm just gonna close my position and there's that. But I'm gonna keep my Ethereum up. So in the span of a few, was it, has it been a week? Yeah, a week or a couple of days to a couple of weeks, I made, I went from 20 something in my fake account to 45 something in my fake account. So um, even just trading, BS wise, this is interesting. Um, I just gotta be more settled into it, you know? I mean, if people can make that amount of money, why the hell would people work? But I guess you're seeing, you saw the other video where I had a drawback of like losing 5K and that hurt. The big thing is don't exit losses <laughs> or have your stop loss where you lose at least like, you know, cap your losses to like 2% per trade or something like that is what I've learned. Again, not financial advice, not a financial advisor. Uh, you live your life. <laughs> I'm living mine. <laughs> you do you. <laughs> so yeah, hammer, this is a confirmation. So I am expecting this to go up. You know, look, look at this hammer. One, two, three, four. So I need one, two, three, and another one. So I have three more to go. And then the Kage is, yeah, we've shipped it. So the next big break is 0 0.0793. So here is the next big one. And that looks fabulous, muy fabuloso. And uh, <laughs> I'm not sure why I did that. Uh, if it can break this area, then it's uh, all time highs to maybe, you know, 0 0.90. I'm actually gonna, all right, this may not actually work, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do a auto fib extension on this area here. I'm gonna get rid of all these lines because too many lines, my friends. Hold on a second. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna hide these lines. I'm gonna get rid of all this. So I don't need these anymore. So too many lines. Jesus Christ, who knew you can make a 11 grand? Jesus, it's like, I have new boat money plus travel with the boat for a year money. Like I said, I'm gonna probably make another video explaining my desire to like own a boat and just sail the oceans and not have to do anything. <laughs> but that's another video for another time. So yeah. Mm. So here, let's go back to our autofib extension. So yeah, it's between the 0.07 and the 0.09. Rather one or the 0.168 or one, yeah, 0.618. All right, so as you know, as it kind of plays around in this area, we would, or I would expect it to break. I don't see any real threats per se to um, this, see the TV sequential. 
Yeah, I don't see any real threats here for this um, Dogecoin. So Dogecoin looks beautiful. Everything looks great. Uh, again, look at this. It has the shift. Boom. Day trade that. All right. So that's that. That kind of concludes my trading for today. I wanted to thank everyone who watched. Thank you so much. Um, I'm getting better at making these videos. This is getting more fun every day. Um, and it's nice to show you my winning paper trades. I'll probably show you some losers at some point. But my strategy, at least on the paper trading is, if I lose money, all right, fine, I just don't trade. I just stop and I'm like, all right, let the market recover and then I'll go back. Because I think, you know, unless you have like, unless you do this for a job. For me, I don't at this moment as of yet. But as I'm learning, you know, for me, it's like, okay, that strategy makes sense. You know, it, instead of putting more money into it, I'm just gonna let it ride. Um, and so far it worked, you know, I went from 5k losses to 11k winnings, which is amazing. On paper, obviously. <laughs> I wish this was real. I'd buy myself a boat and just chill out on my boat. <laughs> All right, so that's that. Um, again, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Everything looks up. Bye.